Oh, hello, it. ma'am. Is this the recruitment poster? Yes, it is. What does it say? It says, this is your flag. It stands for liberty. Fight for it. Join the overseas battalion. Ah, uh, this is the Ottawa Carlton Battalion. So, would you like to go and serve your country overseas, sir? Yes, I would love to go serve my country overseas. Okay, so... Actually, I'm not from this country. That's okay. If you're willing to go and fight, we'll take you, sir. Thank you. I will make the mother puppet land very, very well. I'm pretty sure you will, sir. So, you, st you still have to complete an attestation paper, which gives your information that all the volunteers in the Canadian Expeditional Force need to complete for the enlistment process. Okay, pass me the pencil. Uh, no sir, I will help you fill it out. Sir, we had to fill out this attestation paper so you can join the Canadian Expeditionary Force. What's your name? Eckler. Uh, in what town or parish is your county where you born? Mother Puppet you born? Land. Okay, Mother Puppet Land. Uh, what is your date of birth, sir? Okay, fine. I will whisper it to you. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, what is your trade or calling? Are you a farmer? Are you an engineer, tailor, uh, insurance broker? What are you, sir? I'm a weapons engineer. Weapons engineer. Okay. Are you willing to be vaccinated? No. Well, that's going to be an issue, sir. <laughs> Um, have you ever served in the military force? Yes. Do you understand the nature and terms of your engagement? I'm still single. Do you understand you're going to fight and you might die over there? Yes. Okay. So, sir, you made this declaration that above the answers by the above questions are true and you're willing to fulfill the engagement made right here, right now to serve the Canadian Overseas Expeditionary Force? Yes. Okay. Sign here, sir. Uh, you can go get your uniform that way, please, and then come back you. so we can register you. Sir, I see you received your uniform. Yes. We might have to get a tailor to fix your uniform, sir, so... What do you mean? It fits perfectly. Yep, I can totally see how it fits perfectly. Sir, may Hello? I may Hello? help? Hello? I've been killed by Germans already! No, tell my puppet wife I love her! Oh! Right, ah. sir. I was totally fine. <laughs> you sure, sir? Yes. Yeah, I think we'll send you back to the tailor. Thank you so much for enlisting, and we'll see you in the front lines. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're going to be talking about this poster and this uniform. So, right into the poster. Uh, this is an example of a public notice that was posted during World War I Posters were made to recruit new volunteers and to promote desirable behaviors and to raise money for the war efforts. As you can see here. Dress hat. Cap. This is a military uniform hat worn by Canadian soldiers and other members of the, of the British Force of our Forces during the First World War. <laughs> General Sliss Cap Badge. This is a badge that, that was attached to his dress cap. This design was worn by many Canadian soldiers during the First World War. A service dress ca jacket. This is a wool jacket worn by the Canadian soldiers and other members of the British um, Empire forces during the First World War. Canadian shoulder title. This medal insignia was worn by Canadian soldiers in both shoulder straps on the service <laughs> dress uniform during the First World War. Thank you very much, and we've enjoyed showing you these pictures, this poster, and this uniform. Tune in for more war information on the next scene. Hello. Um, what did they sign earlier? At a station paper. Oh, you this mean extermination paper. This is a, a form that volunteers in Canada fill out when, when they're signing up to be soldiers or nurses in the First World War. Wanna see? Ooh. Is this your paper? Yes. You were born that day? You're so no. old. You're old. Thank you. And, uh, and then this one's in French. 
Did you know that common traits listed on the attestation papers included clerk, farmers, tailors, fishermen, steam engineers, insurance agents, photographers, and many more? Cool? Yeah, cool. Hey, where's your uniform, Hector? It's gone. Ah! I'm just kidding, just kidding. I'm going to go get my uniform fitted out right now. Let me go downstairs. High five. Oh, okay. No high five from Hector. La 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 la. Walking with no purpose. Oh my gosh, a poster. What does it say? This is your flag. It stands for liberty. Fight for it. Join the overseas battalion today. <gasps> I said join. Ma'am, how do I join? <laughs> oh, hi there. All you have to do is sign one of these attestation papers. So you have to put your name, where you live, when you were born, and we'll see if you're fit to make it into our army. Oh, I would love to join. Let me take this pencil all backwards and write. Whoa, I joined. That is how you join the Canadian army today. Thank you so much for letting me join the uh, army. Now that I'm part of the Canadian Army, I'm going to go get uh, my uniform on. Ma'am, where do I go to get my uniform? That way. Thank you, and that is how you join the Canadian Army. Hello, it's me again. I look great, don't I? Yes, you do, sir. Can you please sign here, sir, that you have received your uniform and everything you need to go and fight? Why, thank you, Cap. Yes, you know, you, uh, <laughs> dress, sir. Yes. Uniform pants? Yes! Oh my gosh! Everything is here! Thank you so much, ma'am! Here! Goodbye! Oh! I didn't see you there! So, um... Yep, yeah, those people are crazy. So, if you'd like to see more videos, click here. And if you'd like to see other stuff, click here! And please, smash! Smash! Destroy! That subscribe button right there! Bye!